the South China Sea, a strategic body of water bordered by countries driving the rapid economic growth of the Asia-Pacific region. It is also a global center of shallow water tropical marine biodiversity and is central to defining environmental sustainability and food security in the region. However, more than 300 million people living in coastal areas of the South China Sea have been identified as being at the highest risk globally from increasing rates of coastal and marine environmental degradation and the overexploitation of fish stocks. Reversing these trends will require regional cooperation and growth for long-term sustainability. A challenge made more complex by the unique geopolitics of the Southeast Asian region. Despite these obstacles, the riparian states of the South China Sea, with the support of the International Waters Focal Area of the Global Environment Facility, have worked against this backdrop to agree upon a shared common vision to reverse the environmental degradation of this globally significant marine basin. The initiative coordinated by United Nations Environment and involving more than 400 regional and national level organizations has so far resulted in the intergovernmental adoption of the Strategic Action Program, or SAP, for the South China Sea. Critical to generating community-level support for SAP adoption and implementation was engagement with the Global Environment Facility's Small Grant Program. This provided an opportunity for NGO, CSO, and community organizations to contribute to the SAP formulation. The result of this collaborative effort was a comprehensive and locally relevant strategic action program that addressed priority needs for action. One of the pillars of this plan is the innovative Fisheries Refugia Initiative. Leading the way in the implementation of these priority fisheries actions is the Southeast Asian Fisheries Development Center, or CFDEC, which is working with the region's Department of Fisheries to develop partnerships with the environment sector. This integrated approach to fisheries and environmental management is being carried out at 14 priority fisheries refugia sites. Such networking and cooperation will also be critical in accelerating progress towards the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. With the execution of the SAP, significant environmental stress reduction will be brought about, particularly in terms of safeguarding critical coastal and marine habitats, making a globally significant contribution to SDG 14, Life Below Water while simultaneously contributing to sustainable development goals relating to the elimination of hunger and poverty and promotion of gender equality. This cooperative initiative that fosters cross-sectoral cooperation will be essential as countries move forward with the Global Environment Facility and United Nations Environment to carry out these critical priority actions in the South China Sea. Through the coordinated efforts of countless stakeholders like CFDEC and the Global Environment Fund Small Grants Program and the alignment of SAP implementation with the Sustainable Development Goals, the region's countries may yet mitigate the dire circumstances the South China Sea faces, ensuring the ongoing provision of its vital ecosystem goods and services and improved quality of life for generations to come.